Ahead of tonight's vice presidential debate, we bring in ABC contributor Matt Dowd for more context and analysis. Thanks so much for joining us, Matt. My pleasure, Lindsay. All right, so let's start off with just what's at stake for tonight. At the top of these tickets, we have a 74-year-old president who's tested positive for COVID-19 and a 77-year-old challenger. How much does a vice presidential debate typically matter, and how is that different this year? Well, vice presidential debates hardly ever move a race or have serious impact on the race, but there has been a few exceptions to that. In 2004, when I, I had worked for Bush and had actually debate prep uh, uh, Dick Cheney, that we had, Bush had just come off a very bad performance, like Donald Trump did, and Dick Cheney's goal was to stop the bleeding. And he asked me actually one time in the middle of a debate prep, What's, what should I do? And I said, you need to be the tourniquet because we're losing points. We had a lead and it's evaporating because of that debate performance before the next presidential debate. So to me, this is a debate that in order for Donald Trump and Mike Pence to get back in this race where they're significantly behind, Mike Pence at least has to stop the bleeding in the polls that are going on right now. And as you just mentioned that you prepped Vice President Dick Cheney for his debate, that was back in 2004. Tonight, what are Kamala Harris and Mike Pence's respective goals? And, and what would you say if you were advising them? I think Mike Pence's goal, one, has, as I say, has to stop the bleeding and get the race back to where it was, which was a seven or eight point decline. But really, with only 27 days left and people actually voting, as I like to tell people, November 3rd is an election day. November 3rd is the end of the election. So he has to begin to start chipping away at that lead and, and present the Donald Trump case in a much more forceful way of why they should get another four years. Not why not Mike, why not Joe Biden, but why they should get another four years. I think Kamala Harris is, she, this is her first big introduction to the American public in this big of a way in her public life. She has to perform uh, well in that. And I think her main goal is to keep the momentum going. They don't have to build on a lead. They already have a lead. It's just to keep the momentum going because we have no idea whether we're going to have another presidential debate uh, next week or at all. And I think that's the concern for, for Trump Pence is that this may be the last opportunity they have in this kind of setting to present their argument to the American public. So I think the pressure is really on Mike Pence. But Kamala just, have to, Kamala just has to keep, keep things going and the momentum going as it has been for the last couple months. Yeah, and, and you talk about that momentum and the Biden-Harris ticket has taken a commanding lead in recent polls, 16 points according to CNN, for example. How might that impact the dynamic on tonight's debate stage? Well, all these debates, you always have to look at it in the context of where the race is. I don't think uh, Joe Biden has a 16-point lead. I always tell people the best thing to do is average all the polls together, and I think that gives him about a nine-point lead in this. And so this, I think, is this debate is consequential in that either Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are going to come out of this with that lead maintained, which seems pretty strong now, not only nationally, but in all the key target states, or it will deteriorate. And if if we are this few of days left until the election is over, it's really at the point of time when the clock is beginning to tick for Donald Trump, and he has to do something in order to, to figure out a way to break into, not just win undecideds, Lindsay, because uh, undecideds will not decide this race at this point. He can win all the undecideds and still lose. He has to chip away at Joe Biden's support at this point in time. And this debate tonight, Maybe one of the last opportunities for them to do that. Matt Dowd, as always, we thank you for your insights, and we'll see you a little bit later on tonight. Thanks, Lindsay. Take care. And be sure to stay tuned right here for that high-stakes debate just ahead. Matt will join us for analysis in a special edition of 2020 starting at 8 p.m. Eastern, followed by the big debate at 9 o'clock right here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.